gonna wake up. Hey guys, welcome back to Procrastinate Pretty. I have a special guest today. There have been a ton of requests to put Todd back into the videos, so here we are today. We wanted to do a little bit of a morning after detoxing. Maybe you're a little hungover routine. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, thought we'd do a little bit of a detox morning routine. I once heard of the ter well, actually, I think you told me the story about someone getting their stomach pumped and it was still beer when they pumped the yes. food up. Is that a thing? It's that was real. real. That was real. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and for the morning after, have this on your watch later list. And happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> So the first thing I do after a hard night is drink a ton of water to help wake up your body. And next, you want to take off any makeup that you may have missed the night before. Or if you didn't take your makeup off the night before, that's okay, no judgment, we're all friends here. So after taking off last night's makeup, you want to get in and actually cleanse your face now. Take an oil cleanser that's really hydrating and then properly massage your face to get that circulation going. Just go over your head, over over your head, over your forehead and over your cheeks and tap your skin to wake up the muscles. Cotaly Beauty Elixir always wakes me up and it leaves me feeling so refreshed and try to tap it also into your skin to keep that circulation going. And for makeup, I really like to curl my lashes on the days that I need to look really awake and definitely rim the waterline with a nude liner to cancel out any redness. Brows are always important, but especially on a day when you need to look awake, they give a lot of structure back to your face, so definitely don't skip those. There's literally nothing worse than caking on a huge layer of foundation on a morning like this, so just dot concealer where you need it and sheer it out with a damp sponge. Bring a little radiance back into your skin with a liquid highlighter. I find this one really, really sheer and so natural looking. And then next I like to put on a little cheek color and a little lip color. I match them so the look is more cohesive because you don't have a lot of other makeup on. And just share everything out with a damp sponge as always. So it'll give a really nice finish to the skin and it won't feel like you're wearing makeup at all. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and thumbs up if you want more Todd on the channel. And if you don't thumbs up, she'll be sad. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and if you have any questions, I'll answer them. Not me. Not her. Well, she say, might actually. Two words for me, I suppose. Well, actually. If you have any questions, direct them to Todd. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye!